let's go macro scale with gravity filtration. First, let's explore chemistry origami while fluting our filter paper. Here's our goal. You should always fold when fluting. Making a harsh crease might cause filter paper to tear eventually. Let's get started. First, you want to fold it in half. Open it up and fold it in half once again, this time in the opposite direction. You want to pinch the bottom and push in, like so. Notice how it now forms a sort of X. Open it slightly and do the pinch and push move once again, this time in the opposite direction. As you can see, you're already halfway there. You should have four main sections. Take one section and separate it from the rest. Push in the crease and fold back the little triangles that form. You want to do the same thing for the next three sections. Essentially, you're forming two little triangles from one big one. Like a mother giving birth to twins, isn't that great? You're halfway to a fully fluted filter paper. Try saying that three times fast. By the end of this, all the folds should be alternating. This creates the fluted majesty. Don't worry! You'll get the hang of it! Ah! You may be asking, why should we even bother to flute? Well, it increases the surface area of contact between the mixture and the filter paper. Therefore, a more efficient filtration. Now for the setup. Here we have our mixture to be filtered, and here we have our collection flask. Into the flask, place your funnel. It should be appropriately sized. And into the funnel, place the fluted filter paper. Don't you feel proud? Now that we're all set up, it's time for filtration! Pour the mixture onto the filter paper. Be sure not to pour too much that it overflows. As the filtration progresses, add more of the mixture. But remember, there's always rinsing. Here we can see the residual mixture in the flask. Using a pipette, make sure to rinse your flask with solvent, allowing it to run down the sides and pick up the residual mixture. Then add these washings to the filter paper. Ah, but don't forget, you want to rinse the filter paper with solvent as well. Use a pipette. Like always, you want to rinse your flask and the filter paper three times each. When you think gravity's done all that it can, it's time for collecting the product. If you were aiming for the solid product, take the filter paper out of the funnel and place it on another piece of filter paper or a watch glass and allow the product to dry overnight. 